All right, so today what we're looking at is compound interest. So still carrying on with the financial mathematics here. So if we look at in compound interest, how is it different? Well, interest is on the original amount of capital and also on the interest that is earned. Uh, this means that we are going to be growing our interest at uh, or growing our amount at a far quicker rate because the effects are compounded. So taking a look at a similar example, we've got 2,000 Rand. It's invested at 10% per annum for one year, two years, and three years. Now, the thing to remember here is that we are going to have to work out what the interest is and add it to what the opening balance is, the original amount, and then work forwards. So let's take a look at it in the example. So the similar way to how we did the simple interest for the first year, we take our 2,000 Rand and find out what the interest was on it to get 200. We take our original amount, our capital, and add 2,000 and 2,200 together to get 2,200. Now, the difference happens here. When I get to year number two, I take my previous year's balance, what I landed up or finished off with, 2,200 and I work out the interest on that because it's the interest and the original amount together. So that gives me 2,200 and I add this to my previous year's balance. So at the end of year two, I'm going to have a situation where I'll have 2,420 Rand as my closing balance for that year. Year three, we're going to take the closing balance of year two and find out what 10% of it is. We take that 10% interest and we add it to the opening balance to get my closing balance for that year. Okay, so where in the previous uh, video where I had my simple interest, one would have earned 2,600 Rand as a total, we now have 2,662. Now, if you were working with bigger amounts than 2,000 Rand, you would also see a far larger advantage of the compound interest. All right. There's another thing about compound interest is that we can also apply it more regularly. So, if I was going to take my interest and compound it monthly, I'm going to work with the same numbers as before. As before. But now, what I'm doing is I'm compounding my interest monthly. So now, instead of looking at years, we're going to look at months, because the years would make us stretch far too far. So we're going to look at one month, two months, and three months. So, let's take a look. First thing to take note of is that I'm working out 2,000 Rand times 10%, but I'm dividing it by 12, because I only need one physical month's worth of interest. Okay, one month of interest. So that's 16 Rand 67. I add that, and so that is my closing balance for the first month. All right. Another way that it can be expressed is to do it all at once, 2,000 plus 2,000 times 10% divided by 12. All right. Still gives me the same amount. That is the closing balance for my first month. If I go to month 2, I'm going to take my closing balance of month 1, and apply the same thing to it. You'll see that the interest is growing a little bit more. Add that on, and I get 2,300, oh, 2,033 Rand and 48 cents. Okay. Same way, I could use my other method here, the 10, 0, 1, which is my 10% divided by 12. It's all much of a muchness here. It's whichever method you are most comfortable with, but make sure that you are dividing the interest by 12 because it is monthly. All right, same thing for the third month. We are going to take our closing balance of the previous month, find 10% and divide it by 12 to give me my new interest and add it. Or same method we had there, where you could go and put everything all in one line. All right, just make sure that you're being consistent and that you don't get mixed up. So compound interest, just to wind up, it's the interest calculated on the original amount and the interest or the previous month or year's balance. We can compound the interest 
on a monthly or quarterly or biannually, which is, means just twice a year. The most common you're going to see is monthly. Please remember that we do not use any of the interest formulas, but that we have to have these things split up step by step by step. Okay, so I hope that helps. And as usual, stay safe.